It has been a busy day here in the NFL. And for CBS Sports HQ, we know the Broncos hiring Nathaniel Hackett as head coach. We have the big Ben Roethlisberger retirement announcement officially. And now more breaking news. The Bears set to hire Matt Eberflus as head coach or Jason Lock and Four confirming that news will be the 17th coach in team history. This after they got a new GM in Ryan Pohl. So Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace were let go shortly after the regular season. As for the coaching profile for Matt Eberflus, 51 year old first head coaching gig at any level, 17 years an assistant in the college game Toledo and Missouri, then started his NFL coaching career with the Browns as linebackers coach in 2009 with the Cowboys and then with Frank Reich most recently out in Indianapolis. All right, still got our two-time Super Bowl champ still on the phone, Brian McFadden. BMAC, what do you think of this latest hire there, Chicago Bears, going with a defensive-minded head coach? Oh, I'm super surprised. Uh, I'm surprised. Um, you know, Matt is a guy who interviewed for a few jobs last year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, clearly, defensively, he's really done a real good job with the coach defensively on all three levels. Uh, they play consistent football, play with a lot of energy. Uh, but this is something that kind of surprised me. And the reason why, Tommy, is because offensively, you know, they got to really improve uh, that area uh, fast. You know what I mean? Especially with a young quarterback in Justin Fields. And sometimes when you look at these organizations that have a, a young franchise like quarterback, you would love to be able to get someone that can be hands on with that guy to be able to get the most out of that said player. And defensively, you know, Matt is a guy who can definitely orchestrate and, and put together a real nice defense. And granted, they had that this past year in Chicago. Uh, so, therefore, that's why I was a little surprised to see this higher. You look at some of the offensive-minded guys that are available um, and, 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 and definitely would be hands-on with uh, Justin Fields, to hear them go that direction definitely was the biggest surprise for me. Yeah, it's interesting because generally, not all the time, but in the NFL, if you've had an offensive guy, you go the other way, which this is the case in Chicago. But to your point, who would you have liked to have seen perhaps be paired with Justin Fields? We're here in Jacksonville. Jaguars probably will, will get uh, Byron, uh, my former teammate Byron Leftwich. Uh, but what about Brian DeBall from um, – from Buffalo, I mean, look, look at Josh Allen. Look how Josh Allen has improved from his rookie year. Just that alone, just seeing that growth alone from Josh Allen would be so enticing for me if I'm an organization that has a young quarterback and I want to see growth, right? And Josh Allen and Justin Fields, they have similarities to their ball game. You know, tough guys don't mind becoming a running back extremely athletic. I mean, the same things that Brian did with the Josh Allen, you can easily visualize that happening with Justin Fields, along with some, some added pieces to the puzzle. So that would probably be the ideal name when you look at some of the more uh, uh, big-time offensive-minded guys that are looking for a head coaching job. I, I felt like Brian DeBall would probably be ideal in that situation for Chicago. All right, changes are coming. Again, new GM, new head coach. Our thanks to Brian McFadden with the breaking news there. Again, the Bears going to hire Matt Eberflus from the Indianapolis Colts to be their head coach out in Chicago. We're going to take another quick break. Charles Davis on the other side calling our games for CBS Sports. We're going to react to this news, the latest news here from the NFL.